Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today on the channel, we got a really big announcement. Uh, the iNergy company who makes the Kodiak power generator that I've been using for over a year now is getting a big upgrade. So let's check it out. So there's many reasons why a lithium based generator is superior to a gas generator. It's much quieter, which is going to protect your security in a grid down situation. Because gas would be in short supply or inaccessible, it can be recharged by a multitude of renewable energy sources, including solar power, wind power, or kinetic energy. It's also far more lightweight and portable. The Kodiak power generator had the best balance of all of these features including a very high power output of 3000 watts peak power output and 1500 watts continuous, as well as a very large onboard storage capacity of 1.1 kilowatt hours. This was the case throughout the years 2016 to 2018. In 2019, the Kodiak is gonna be getting some serious upgrades, so let's talk about it. All right, so most of you have seen reviews of the Energy Kodiak power generator on this channel or others. I've used this in a variety of different conditions over the past year. It's far and away the best uh, power generator on the market for portability. It's 20 pounds, it's very powerful, and it stores a lot of power. So if you purchased the original Kodiak power generator last year, within the last month, um, I don't want you to have buyer's remorse for the new one that's coming up because there are some significant changes. There's going to be a, a few minor upgrades and tweaks and the price point is going to be a lot better. But I don't want you to feel that the purchase you made of your original Kodiak generator is now obsolete. It's absolutely not obsolete. That's going to be one of the top generators for years to come on the market. This is probably like the difference between an iPhone 8 and an iPhone 9 and the price point is gonna be a lot better. So the new uh, K2 solar generator from Kodak, it's gonna look a lot like this one. And I'll show you a picture on the screen here, what it's gonna look like. It's gonna retail for a lot less. So right now the current Kodiak power generator retails for uh, $2,000 USD basically. This one is gonna retail for $1,600 USD. But if you get it for the pre-sale price, you're gonna get it for 20% off, so you're gonna save like $400. Uh, you'll get it for $1,300 USD on the pre-sale, which is gonna to start today. I'll post a link in the description if you're interested in getting the pre-sale version. They also have a variety of uh, different solar panels that they're gonna be making now. Um, solar panels which are gonna be functioning at a, a better efficiency and are gonna be more compatible with the Kodiak power generator. So of all the tech specs of the K1, nothing has been downgraded. So basically, if you watch my videos that talk about all the specs of the K1, you can basically apply that to the K2, and we're gonna add a bunch of other stuff, like the new battery management system, which has a more consistent power output. There's gonna be a new charge controller in there, which is gonna mean faster charge times and much improved efficiency. So on this one, you can see the output wattage, you can see the amps, you can see the volts. On the new one, you're actually gonna be able to see the input charge. So this is gonna be very useful if you're charging with solar panels, you're actually gonna be able to see how much power is be re being received uh, by those panels. So it's not gonna be a guessing game of, you know, how long is this gonna take to charge? Because this, with the right solar power set, can charge within two hours if you have 600 watts. That's the great thing about this power generator is that it can handle up to 600 watts input of solar power. So if you have uh, 300 watts of panels and it's moderate sunlight, it's not really clear how long it's gonna take, but now as you have that charge input, even though conditions might change, you're gonna have a better estimate of how long it's gonna to take to charge the batteries. So that's gonna be a pretty significant upgrade in my opinion. Now you're gonna have USB-C charge ports. That's not too significant because you can achieve that on the K1 simply by using a uh, Qualcomm 3.0 charge adapter that goes into one of these 12 volt outputs here. Uh, that's something that you could simply upgrade with your K1 for 10 bucks. Now with the K1, you could infinitely expand the amount of battery power by linking up lead acid batteries to this one. You could channel the lead acid battery power 
through this device and use all the outputs. Now with the new one, it's gonna be expandable with lithium batteries as well. And it's not specifically clear to me whether or not Energy is going to be selling those and if they're going to be proprietary for this device or if you're gonna be able to use other lithium batteries for that purpose. That's a pretty significant upgrade that you're gonna be able to have lightweight lithium expansion, which means you could essentially double or triple the power of your Energy Kodiak device while keeping the weight down when you're traveling. So there's gonna be a new charge input adapter, which is gonna charge the device more efficiency. Um, there's gonna be a three position power switch, which means you're gonna be able to access power a bit more efficiently. And the device is no longer gonna need resets. So what would happen before is that if the battery, it's very intelligent. So the K1, it had a feature if you if the battery power went too low it's going to go into an automatic shutdown mode because you never want to do a deep discharge of any battery really uh, particularly a lithium-ion battery you don't want to do a deep discharge because this can permanently damage the battery now in order to prevent this from happening and so you can maximize the most of those 2000 recharge cycles the generator will automatically shut itself down now needless to say this led to a lot of confusion for some people who thought they had a damaged unit and Energy really didn't do a good job of thoroughly explaining this great feature that they put in there. And it was a bit of a process to reset this device, uh, even though it was very simple. Uh, nonetheless, it led to some confusion. So you're not gonna have to worry about that anymore. Now, in terms of the core features that made the Energy Kodiak power generator so great and so groundbreaking, the K2 is going to have exactly the same features. It's going to be lightweight, portable, 20 pounds. It's going to be uh, 3000 watts peak output. It's going to have 1500 watts continuous power output. It is going to have a 1.1 kilowatt hour battery. And it's going to be continuous pure sine wave, meaning you're going to get a nice smooth delivery of consistent power to your electronic devices. So really 1300 bucks for the K2 presale is an amazing deal when you consider that the original one was 2000 without those upgrades. Um, that's just uh, $700 cheaper in only the span of a couple years, really, since the first one's been out. So uh, the technology is moving fast. Like I say, the hardware is generally the same, but they've made a lot of other really cool upgrades. It's gonna charge faster, it's gonna be expandable. It's going to have, you know, the Qualcomm quick charging on board LCD screen upgrades with the uh, solar input read. That's gonna be pretty huge. So I would strongly encourage you guys to check one out. Uh, pick one up through the link in the description if you're interested. Let me know what your experience has been with your Kodiak power generator. Um, I know a lot of people who have purchased them after watching my videos. 99% uh, of the reviews have been positive. There have been some people who've had some problems and iNergy is really quick to help them out. They have a great customer service department. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I'll try to answer them to the best of my capability. Uh, go get one of these on pre-sale, guys. You're not going to find a better deal than that for a while. I can tell you that after the pre-sale, there's going to be a minimum advertised price of $1,600. So if you want to learn more about the Kodiak Power Generator platform, check out the playlist in the description for more information. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper O. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.